Belly pop my whip, nigga. Uh, Hammer time for my chips, nigga. Bossing up. Add it up. Your girlfriend choosing, so you mad as fuck. What is up, you guys? My name is Kinger, and welcome to my world. So unfortunately, this isn't going to be a typical happy fun video. I'm filming this on my vlog channel because I have more subscribers on here than I do my main channel right now. I'm trying to reach as many people as I possibly can. Even though I don't have that many subscribers, it's still more people that I can reach out to for something this important. So recently, within the past week, one of my best friends, one of my childhood best friends, Kevin, recently lost his brother due to suicide. This is the third time that I know of within the past year, including 2014, up until March of 2014, that my hometown, you know, my old community, has dealt with a suicide. And it's been very difficult. Look, coming from a small town, we all get together during these times. Grant, I don't live there anymore, but I mean, that's my hometown. I grew up there for 20 years. I, that is my home. Um, whether I want to admit that or not and this definitely came out of nowhere and for it to be affecting one of my best friends it's been really hard to see and, and talk to him and everything like that it's just so sad but I'm reaching out to you guys and as many people as I can I'm gonna be posting this on my Facebook as well for those that haven't seen in Gladwin uh, Kevin's post Kevin has set up a GoFundMe page I'll put the link in the description to help pay for, they, they got the, his brother um, cremated and they're trying to bring his ashes home. And for some ungodly reason, I, I was unaware that they actually charged, like I, I knew they charged a little bit of money for something like this, but I didn't know it was this much. They are charging $1,800 to do the cremation and to bring his ashes home, to my knowledge. And first off, that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's so hard for a family to go through something like that in general, but to, you know, to go through a death, but to pay that kind of money, it's just, it makes me sick, honestly. But either way, they need $1,800 in order to bring his brother's ashes home. So I'm making this video to reach out to as many people as I possibly can. I've tried reaching out to FouseyTube and Roman Atwood, being that they just released the suicide experiment. And I'd like you guys to check that video out as well, because it's very important. Uh, what they, you know, created. Um, I feel like a lot of people need to watch that video. If you've ever dealt with suicide or, you know, have had thoughts yourself, definitely should watch that video. But anyways, I tried reaching out to them through Twitter, and I haven't gotten a response yet. I'm going to still keep trying, see if they could help out some. Because 1800 that is quite a bit to collect. But think about it this way. If 10 people gave $10, that's $100. If 20 people gave $5, that's $100. So just 5 to $10. Give whatever you can, obviously. But, you know, 5 to $10, I mean, those kind of increments, you know, with very few people can add up and we can meet what they need very quickly. So if you can donate, I would appreciate it, let alone. But obviously, Kevin and his family would beyond appreciate it, and they really need it. For something so important, I really hope people can help him out. And I'm making this video just to try and reach as many people as I can and inform anybody on Facebook and that are in our hometown that didn't see his status or doesn't know. So if you guys can, please donate. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Check it out. Donate whatever you can. It's really a simple process as far as donating goes. So, Kevin, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you will, I hope this helps, man. I just, it's really hard dealing. I've, you know, obviously dealt with it a few months ago, as you know. And it's just, it's really hard to deal with, but, you know, like I said, I'm always here for you, and that goes for everybody else. If you ever, don't ever feel like, I'm going to make a video about this on my main channel, talk about, you know, suicide as a whole, and get my views on it and everything. But something I could just say for the end of this video is, don't ever feel like you're alone. You always have somebody, whether you believe it or not, you always have somebody that cares about you and is there for you. And if you don't feel that way, I want every single person to know Anybody that watches this video, whatever, if you know me, you can come and talk to me anytime you need to. I don't care if we don't talk. I don't care if we're not friends. I don't care if I even know who you are at all. Feel free to talk to me anyway. Hit me up Twitter, Facebook, you know, any way that you can get a hold of me. And I will gladly talk to you and help you in any way I can. I feel like, you know, I have a pretty good outlook on life. I've hit my lowest of lows and I'm still here. 
So if you ever need anybody to talk to, I'm here. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up. You know, I'm not trying to say much, you know, about my stuff because this I'm obviously not trying to make that the point of this video, but I will have a new main channel video up the same day as today, later. I'll be posting that on Facebook as well. So if you want to check that out, I would greatly appreciate it. And, you know, share this video with everybody that you can. My Facebook friends, share it on there as well. Let's try and help Kevin and his family out because this is, you know, something very important. And I believe we need to come together and make this happen for him and his family so they can be somewhat at peace with, you know, not having to worry about that. So thank you in advance, anybody that does donate. And I will see you guys in the next video. Boy. Without the ones I love, time still turns.